come on, little ones. Come on. Essence berries. Poof. Come on, essence berries. Oh, 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 it worked. Yay! All right, we've got a few more essence berries. I wonder if we'll get a few more. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to Zudesia Zoo, where we are currently inside my awesome uh, tree. Um, oh my gosh, are we under the dogs? Ah, there they go again. I wonder why they're crying. Like, the dogs have been crying for a little while now. I'm gonna have to go up and investigate. But we are inside my awesome tree, waiting for the essence berries to continue growing. I have a few more in here that may may provide enough of the boost we need. But we are trying to name our glorious grafter before we begin the day. I can't believe we're like one essence berry short. All right, let's just do a few more. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. Finally, there we go. I can't believe I needed 35 levels just so I could name it. My gosh. All right, let's come. Oh, thank you, darling. A wonderful cup of tea, that is. Let's come over here. And now we have our unbreaking three, fortune three, efficiency four. Whoops, why am I putting you in here? Wait, isn't that how I name you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Come on, there we go. All right. Glorious grafter. There we are. I'm breaking three, fortune three, efficiency four. You know what I want to try this thing out on? Not only the trees, not only the jungle trees, but I also want to try it out on bookshelves, like the bookshelves that you could harvest up uh, to get like books from Twilight Forest. We might poke into that. Good morning, Pigman Fern. I'm glad to see you and your chicken companions are doing well. Let me just toss these in. It looks like we're conducting some sort of terrible magic experiment down here with the big old giant thing of a iron but don't worry we're just getting ready to like make a whole bunch of iron blocks which by the way assistant freezer bunny i'm very proud to report that my grandson actually trades in iron blocks can you believe it all right let's swap that out and then actually i could probably oh my gosh what do i even have floating in some of these things who even knows all right pardon me assistant freezer bunny i i appreciate the assistance but um, don't worry, I've got this. Oh dear. Assistant Freezer Bunny. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are one silly cow. If you need assistance of your own getting out of there, let me know. It looks like one of the chickens is coming to help him. My gosh. And meanwhile, these two are studying up what we may have as results. Let's see. Do I need faucets? No, it's not the faucets I need. I think I need this cobblestone fluid pipe. And then what else is it that I need? Oh my goodness, we have so many landmines in here. I need a basin. Where'd my basin go? I should have one more basin. Is it in one of these? Hmm? Let's see, not the item hopper, but... Aha! The casting basin. There we go. There we are. It looks like we're going to lose a wee bit of material, but that's alright. And let's see, you go here. Wooden fluid extraction pipe goes right there and then we're going to swap this out for a casting basin now now chickens please this is this is for the good of the zoo please there we go and now we should be able to start extracting it and making iron blocks again which will be very helpful to the future of the zoo really <laughs> well i can't fault my assistants for being so excited to help but sometimes i worry about these chickens I mean, they're, they're made of fluff and feathers, and, you know, that might not end well if they douse themselves in molten iron. Alright, let's see how this goes. Everything doing alright? Should harden up, and then, yep, there it goes, and there it goes. Alright, good. So this should be able to manage on its own. And, oh, did I put the other things away? I did not. And then we are actually getting ready, my friends, to deal with polar bears and the Arctic. The frozen Arctic. Let me see if I can maybe get some, like, earmuffs. I'm pretty sure I have a warm hat tucked away somewhere. I just don't remember where. No, not there. Wait. Okay, no, no. I thought the iron stand had my boots for some reason. All right. All right, darling. Hugs. I'm going to go take... Well, thank you. A cup of tea is wonderful for where I'm going. But I'm going to go take those polar bears Mara brought to us and put them in the tundra, okay? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to gather up the many mini polar bears. So ask yourself this, my friends. Why were there seven polar bears? Wait, is that a big cat? Mara didn't mention anything about a big cat. Just what kind of big cat is that? And I know this is a panda bear. What? 
All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with this too. Don't worry, pup pups. I'll be taking a few of you along, or maybe not. I actually think I need to take sunflower for this trip. Sorry, guys. All right, what on earth kind of big cat is this? Let me see. Let's get a reusable safari net out and go a good distance and put my armor on. Never open an unknown safari net with an unknown type of animal of the carnivorous variety without uh, wearing your your gloves, guys. All right, you ready? Oh, it's a panther! I am not sure what I'm going to do with you, love. But we'll definitely take care of it. I'm going to put it inside for now. Should I release it? I mean, I don't really have a place for it just yet. Hmm. Pretty sure I've got some panthers already. Hmm. Hmm. I hate to turn down the opportunity to build a new zoo exhibit, but you know what? I think we're going to release it when we release the uh, the polar bears because I just don't have the exhibits for it and I feel too guilty leaving them in the safari net so I think we're going to turn things around where now we're going to build the exhibit and then go get the animals instead of vice versa because I just don't like how that means the animals end up languishing for ages inside of safari nets and actually let's get sunflower let's go fetch her hello my love oh there's a half-naked man in my yard again. You, sir, are neither my love nor particularly welcomed in the area. The best I can offer him for now. Let's do this, and then let's just do this. Light up the area, my gosh. What are you doing here, sir? Hello, sir, I am aware of your affliction. The best I can offer you is to release you as well into the wilds. Is that going to be all right? I do one day wish to cure werewolf ism and be able to provide a place for you to live but for now the best i can do is is take him out and let him just be wild for now <sighs> how would you propose you guys that we cure the werewolves because that is a question that weighs heavy on my mind how do we cure the werewolves i know what i want to provide for them like zomberry village i want to give them a village of their own once we start curing them and things like that they can possibly take care of wolves hello sunflower I know, I left Astro Seed still. He's still off at, uh, off at the Chocobo stables. Not in the mood to fly today again. That's fine, my dear. We're not going too far. We gotta put the, the panda bear away first. Come on, sweetheart. There we go. Wow, I've never been up on this tree before. Oh, and look at the beautiful rainbow oaks that we have. It's, oh, man, and I really like that like cascading waterfall effect we did in Calf's front yard. I know, right, Sunflower? Kukwikwu! Alright, how about this? Let's glide down. Oh, I've missed you, Sunflower. It's so much fun to fly on you again. And up, my dear. Good job. Now you're feeling it. There we go. And let's settle down here for just a minute. I need to check on the pandas. But yeah, what are we going to do with our werewolves? How are we going to do our best to try to help them out? Hello, everyone. I have a new friend for you. No, oh, little panda. He should settle in alright, and we'll give him a proper name later. Yeah, he's already wandering around. Good. Alright, Sunflower. We're off to cut down the spruce trees. Oof, there we go. Oh, what a view. Green and taken care of and well-loved this area has been. Very well-loved. Alright, let's come up here. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Sunflower, it's a rare ice scorpion! Don't wait up! I'm going to go catch him! Oh, okay, we'll catch him in a single use. Oh, he's very rare. It's so uncommon to run into these guys. Is that a pig? My gosh, it's a pig at my old penguin hut. Oh, look, that's a werewolf too! Oh my gosh! He killed a chicken! In you go! Wow, it's so uncommon to end up finding these blue werewolves, or the blue werewolves. That's because I'm watching more half-naked men trapeze around my yard. All right, actually, let's release him with his friend. Maybe they'll be able to help each other out. All right, there you go, sirs. You look like twins. I think they can help each other, so. What's growling at me? Oh, it's no biggie. It's just a wild wolf. Okay. I'm just going to casually go this way. <laughs> Sunflower, darling! I think we can resume our own escapades. But I love how wild this world is. So 
as much as I would love to help those guys out, I know I can't right now, and I know they can help each other more than I can help them, but how would we cure a werewolf? Is there, is there like a cure for werewolves? I'm not very good on my mythology that way. So if there is a cure for werewolves, I would love to know it. Look at that! Nine saplings! Glorious grafter, you are amazing! Nine saplings, wow! Normally you'd only get like a couple. Ten even! I just picked up another one. All right, well that's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and collect these up. And look, you can see Zomberry Village from here. That's so fun. And then we will replant some of the spruce saplings. I'm hoping that the roots will be able to dig down into the soil, really get a good hold, and then we'll be able to start terraforming some of this area, or at least providing a bit more, bit more room for plant growth is the goal. And man, with Glorious Grafter helping us out, this isn't going to be a problem at all. So many, so many little saplings, and they're all so cute. Come here, I bet you guys smell so nice. Ah, fresh smell of spruce. Not quite the, the like, tangy sweet smell of pine, but it still has a bit of an odor if you tweak the leaves, like, pinch the needles and, like, tweak the branches a little bit. All right, let's clear the snow away. Oh, there's no dirt under the snow. Excuse you. Excuse you. Just how far down does it go? Hey, now! I kind of need... I kind of need to plant this stuff. Well, Sunflower, it looks like we are unexpectedly having to go get uh, access to some dirt before we can continue our operations. <gasps> it's another blue scorpion! Oh my gosh! I can't believe that's the second sighting! Eh, Sunflower, hang on, they're very uncommon. And it's about to turn hostile. Right. Come here, come here, sweet love. There we go before the, the hunger of the night comes upon it and it decides to try to eat me. In fact, all right, all right. You're probably right, Sunflower, but trying to sleep next to a bunch of werewolves is not exactly my idea of a peaceful experience. So let's settle down here. I don't think I can sleep on leaves, Sunflower, so l let me try again. Oh, look, there's some of your kin. Is there anybody down there? A fox, some ants. I feel kind of safe with them. A whole lot of mammoths. Oh, there's a polar bear. The safe feeling left. Hmm. Where could we set down for the night? Just a moment. I know, right, Sunflower? Well, I guess the better question is we might as well just go through the night and try to find a good spot to set the polar bears down. Hopefully not too close to other polar bears. We need to put them kind of near a water source, so this would work. There's food available. Ah, see, I think this would work all right. There's some wild arctic pumpkins. There's sheep in the area. There's a big old lake that they can possibly get, like, different food from. There's a bird swimming in there, even. Hmm, and even pumpkins. Ah, there are a few polar bears in the area, so hopefully we wouldn't, we wouldn't provide, like, competition for food. But still, I'm going to need to release them, but before we do... There we go sleep on the edge of a cliff and just hope that nothing tries to eat me. Phew, there we go. But before we do end up putting our polar bears down, Sunflower, I did want to make like a observation post of some kind to be able to watch them. And now that I think of it, Sunflower, wouldn't it be so fun to build an observation post on one of these trees? This tree right here. Wouldn't this be perfect? Oh, it even has mushrooms growing in it as though it's waiting for me, Sunflower. <gasps> and I see appetites. Oh, this would be perfect. I was thinking of building something on the ground, but actually this would provide a great view. Maybe just go down a few few branches, set myself up a little observation post out of spruce wood, and then we could just watch the polar bears from like up here. I love it, Sunflower. We might even be able to make bridges between some of the trees along this area and keep an eye out on how all the polar bears are doing. Sunflower, it's brilliant and dangerous and brilliant all at the same time. Also, I love those trees. Look at how pretty they are. The fog about them and like snow gently tucked up on their, their long willowy branches. Whew. All right, so what to do first? Well, there's quite a few polar bears in the region. Normally, they're pretty solitary animals. You don't really see them in groups, unless it's like a family group where the mother is raising her young, 
or briefly for mating. I know, Sunflower. This is a very nice tree, you're right. And very potentially a deadly one as well. Alright, let's set down and I'm going to turn the spruce wood into planks. Like wood, actual wood I could use. Yeah, there, there's an abundance of food here though, so I'd feel comfortable putting them out here. And they're far enough away from my house that I wouldn't feel too nervous to. <gasps> Moss! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Not to mention it looks like there's good pickings on uh, forging around here a little bit. It'll be good, Sunflower. We'll settle in here for just a bit. I've got a duty to make sure that these guys are well taken care of and at least put away. Alright, let's see. Should I do fence post? Yeah. Hello, sheep sheep. Oh, I don't have... What on earth? I thought I would have a crafting bench, but apparently I have removed my crafting bench. Alright. Oh, it's kind of uncomfy in these, but I can't go unguarded. You never know if one of the subjects of our research will come out of nowhere and start attacking me. Unfortunately, polar bears and I don't have a very good history on this world. They like to try to eat me. It's true. Alright, what about you? That makes a gate. Trying to remember how to make... Oh, why am I trying to remember? I can just say, I need to make a fence. Alright, so... Just a normal fence. That's right. We'll use that to kind of support, use like as supports. Oh, that tree is so cool too. It's split half and half on the coloring sunflower. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, where, where are my feather fallen boots? Not gonna lie, a little bit, little bit nervous sunflower. But let's try this. We're gonna come up and we're gonna try to settle in about, about mushroom level. Mushroom level might be a little bit high. Hang on, Sunflower. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, okay. You're right. Right below mushroom level, Sunflower. This this should work fine. This isn't dangerous at all. Let's see if we can get a little tiny foothold. Please throw me off the right way. Oh, thank goodness. Sunflower. Oh, love. Be careful. At least if you fall down, I happen to know that you'll be okay. Alright, let's just gently... I can't believe we're doing this, but we're gonna do it. It's the perfect solution. It's a pre-built outpost. So we're just gonna very gently clear the leaves out around here. And I can build myself a, oh, a, little, a little like pineapple. Oh, I wonder if I could grow mushrooms. I could have like my own little <gasps> tree. Do you see it? We could grow mushrooms in the leaves. We could have like bridges going between these trees and grow mushrooms in them. I am so excited. And we can watch the polar bears and survey the land. See, there's some polar bears right there. And there is a snow leopard actually. So we can survey the land. We can kind of check things out. I like this. Look at what has become from our good friend Mara leaving us such a gift. This is why you should always be nice and leave your friends presents. You never know what kind of inspiring like amazing things it may do for them. Like make them build very dangerous little outposts in the top of a very high spruce tree and decide to open up a mushroom farm across said trees. All right, let's clear you guys out. Doesn't need to be too big, but I dare say, how does it look? Oh, look at that. I dare say we have a teensy little outpost up here in the tree. Okay, this is cool. Let's clear you out a little bit. And you out. I don't want to clear too many of the leaves. Because I'll need them as cover to shelter me from the weather. Which would actually be fine. I'm going to need to put like fencing down for myself. So I don't just wander off. That would so be something I would do as well. Just walk right off of where we're supposed to be. Alright. I know Sunflower. I know. It is something I would do. Alright. How are we going to do this? Now this part, I would dare say, okay, very cautiously. All right, so I'll start my outpost down here and I want it kind of like, yeah, like we'll make it strongly linked. Yes, this'll do, this'll do. I, I'm like scared. I'm so scared. I'm just gonna like walk right off by accident. But let's do that. And then let's put down some flooring. Whoops, that's not where I want the flooring. Can I gently collect it and then come back up? Oh no, I can't come back up because guess what? That's a fence. 
<sighs> Alright. Your sacrifice won't be in vain, plank of wood. Alright, let's put you there. Okay. This is kind of exciting. I kind of wanted it up here, though. Oh, I see what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Ah, nope, that one's gone. And there. Alright, and then like that. So now we have a, like a sturdy foundation. <gasps> no, don't you dare disintegrate on me, leaves. Oh, no, they're disintegrating on me. Did I kill the whole tree? Please tell me I didn't kill the whole tree. I would be so sad if I killed the tree. Whoops, I didn't need to put that yet. I know, Sunflower, I know I should have more practical concerns than, like, fretting over a tree that I may or may not have theoretically uh, caused issues with. Okay, can I do this? Okay, now we're stuck. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness. Goodness gracious. That's all I have to say to that is goodness gracious. Alright, there's that. And there's that. And that. And this. There we go. And we'll wiggle this way. And now I can put the... Okay. Okay. This isn't dangerous. Don't disintegrate. <gasps> what if it disintegrates under my feet? Oh, that would be terrifying. Okay. Whew. No, wait. Wrong one again. <laughs> Well, you know what? When you're when you're concerned about the world disintegrating under your feet, I I would say that you have some understandable concerns, uh, like distractions from your building style. All right. Well, that's that so far. Let's just clear this out a little bit more. Come here, spruce wood. Um, put that there. Put this here. Put this here. Put this here. And, whoa, no, don't walk so fast. I'm so excited, especially about the potential little mushroom farm. Sunflower! Did a leaf disintegrate under you? Oh, dear. I hope this whole tree doesn't go under. All right, well, we'll just have to trust that it won't. And I'm going to go ahead and, well, we'll get settled in. I will I will at least figure out how to retrieve my, my sunflower. And we will have to, ooh, I'll probably have to put a ladder going up one side of this thing, won't I? Hmm. That brings back memories. <laughs> memories of the very first episodes, but this is a good good outpost. I like it. We will continue work, and we will see uh, where we're going to leave our polar bears and what we may find in these open tundra plains next time, you guys. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.